Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Blaze. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we're playing the Empire of Italia. Which looks a little bit like that. We are at war with Sweden, and we're watching Britain invade Portugal. And we're watching Portugal invade Britain. It's very pretty. And we're watching our mass of units, our vassals, invade Sweden. Because it's what they're good at, right? Even Denmark's is like, ah! I'm gonna come get you, Sweden. You go for it, dude. Norway's invading. Oh, yeah, man. Norway's got cores all over here. Denmark's got cores all over here. Yeah, so when they siege, all this shit is gonna crisscross their color. Go for it, bros. It's up to you. I'm not gonna take any land. I, no, that's not true. I'm gonna take Neeland. I'm gonna take Neeland. I might even take Livland. You know. But I'm definitely gonna take Neeland so that we can release Finland and feed Finland in the next war. But for now... Uh, that's it. We're just going to let our vassals do their thing. We are coring some territory that we have taken from Castile. And we need to go back and get some more claims on Castile. So the question is, what provinces do we want? Uh, Asturias might be nice. Salamanca might be nice. I would like everything. Can I have all the things? Gibraltar is a base 1. Almer is base 1. Vizcaya is a 3. 3. Let's go for the base 6. Give me Asturias. Thank you. We're also fabricating claim on Galicia. And we're going to do Bragantia next. Let's do Bragantia. All right. Excellent. And we can also do a war over here. But I think if we're going to do war with Crimea, we want to do it in a certain way uh, where we're also going to be at war with Russia. Or else we're not going to be able to walk over here and kill this shit. We need to go all the way over here and kill this shit so that we can release... Uh, Kazan. Oh, but that's a problem, though. If we go to war with Russia, we won't be able to feed Kazan in the first war. We'll have to wait until a future war. Oh man. Oh man. That's okay, really. We also need to beat up Lithuania, vassalize them, because then they can grow a little bit. Lithuania's got some scattered cores. I would like to feed them. Ah, goodness. There's always something that needs to be doing, you know? We never have enough things or enough time to do all the things. Oh, hello, Sweden's army. Hello. He's like, I have come to fight the horde. The horde is amused. <laughs> the, horde is, the horde is quite amused. Hello, Sabir. Well, Uzbek is not as threatening as they used to be, huh? Oh, well. Oh, wow, Sweden actually escaped to Finland. They actually got away. Why would you let them get away? That's not cool. Well, hmm. Italy! Yeah, we need to go to war with France. You're right. That's what we'll do next, because we're not going to take any uh, overextension in this war. So we should go invade France. Actually, I guess we could do that right now, huh? Yeah, because it's gonna take it's gonna take at least two years to finish a war with France. So how long is our claim good for? Uh, another t eleven years. That's good. France is currently losing a war to Portugal. France currently has one hundred thirty-three thousand troops. Wow, France, that's a lot of troops. Uh, you know what? I'll let my vassals start sieging Sweden, and then we'll turn on France. Basically, I want to make sure that Sweden's army is destroyed. At that point, our vassals will turn around and bring their units home. As soon as their units come home, that's when I know it's okay to attack someone else. Right? Yep, that army needs to die. Wow. Saxony and Switzerland chewed through that province like butter. Butter. Blech. Silesia's up here. It's a very multicultural event anytime we declare war. The Italians say jump, and the Germans say how high. <gasps> Russia annexed Ceylon. No. Hopefully they'll revolt. They revolted against Portugal, so hopefully they'll revolt against Russia as well. We'll have to see.
There's the battle. Whoa. We got a claim on something. Interesting. Oh, Galicia. Okay. Alright. Uh, anything else I want over there? Nope. Hmm. France is totally done. Uh, Brittany, can I vassalize you, please? He's like, nope. Damn it, Brittany. You jerk. And George is sort of there. He's floating right around, yeah, but sort of like, no. I don't know. Let's get relations up. He might do it just at some point. Lose Diplo points or lose a, a guy. I'll just lose the Diplo points. We have tons of them. We have a, a 366 king. This guy's amazing, right? His heir is not as amazing, but he's pretty amazing. Hermes. Hermes Ruspoli. Yeah, take care of this army, and then everyone can sort of come back for France. No, a general died. No. And wow, they're not even killing this guy. They're just, they're just kind of dancing around him. Okay, we've got a claim on Castile. One more claim on Castile. Give me Salamanca. Yeah, sure, Salamanca. Apparently he's having trouble. Peasant rebels. Yeah, that'll happen. Relatively common. Bragantia. Can I get another one on Portugal? Of course I can. Give me Barajos. Yes. Claim, please. Claim, por favor. Por favor. Oh, God damn it! We get a claim on his territory, so he steals a cardinal. You jerk. You jerk. You're a jerk, Portugal. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh man, they really are having a tough time with this one stupid Swedish army. This is hilarious. It's like, we only have 500,000 troops. What do we do? Let's run around with our head cut off. Okay. Oh man, we can really invest in anyone else, can't we? Actually, we can't. We still can't even afford that guy. It doesn't matter, he's over 60. There we go, now you got him. Nice job cornering them, boys. I think part of the problem up here is there's just a lot of attrition, you know? Nothing's as easy as it could be. Lithuania seems to be at war with Livonian order. Nope. Well, he stopped paying for his troops for a while for some reason. Castile surrendered to English Mexico in that separate war. Okay. Is it time yet? Still one year ahead. Damn it. Oh, Ottomans are breaking alliances. I like to see that. I always like to see people break alliances. Unless it's with me. Then I get upset. Genuinely upset. I have vassals chilling in Russia? What the hell? Weirdos. Oh no, Castile's allied with Shawnee. We're in for it now. This is taking a lot longer than it should. It really is. We're almost done with these fucking cores. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Oh yeah, how close are we on Morocco? Over there. Okay, so we can annex Morocco after this war. Perfect. We'll get that started before we declare on France then.
Friends, get out of there. It's mine. Really? No one's going to land on Gotland? Are you kidding me? So we're not going to get 100%. We're going to get like 80%. Because no one had the balls to go to Gotland. I mean, it's not that hard to get across the water to Gotland. Cores! All the cores are done. Okay. Abolition of Slavery Act. Hmm. It makes taxes cheaper. I mean, it makes less taxes for the rest of the game, but it makes stability costs cheaper for the rest of the game. I'm... Do I really need that? Not really. I'll turn that off. I might look at it later. Take Bergancha. Yeah, I would love to take Bergancha, but I have what's called a truce. Oh, no, I don't. I have no truce. Oh, man, we should go back to war with Portugal again. Hmm. We have three claims, right? Yeah, we'll see. I'll probably go to France first. Yeah, nobody's gonna go to Gotland. Fucking pussies, man. You know what, though? It's it's because we, de we declared for this one province and we haven't sieged it yet. That's what's holding us back at 70. As soon as that falls, we should hit like 85. Salamanca's ready. Go for another one. Uh... Caceres? Whatever. Just go for it. Everyone else whines about border gore, but I don't really care. <laughs> Are we still ahead? Nope. Okay, tech up. Nice. Oh, we can build the three-decker now? Ah, oh, we get to replace all of our heavy ships with the best heavy ship in the game. Nice. Claim on Badajoz. Can we get any more claims, or is that all? Can't do any more claims. Okay. Uh oh, Britain has rebels. Particularists. Ah, eh, they can handle it. They're big boys. I help me invade France. They might. Nope, they don't want to fight France. Ah. We're tired. We don't want to fight France. Now hurry up with this fucking province. Come on, seriously. Failed again. Oh my god. Everything is succeeding except the one province that we have a claim on. I mean, isn't that just stupid? That's the one that we declared war for, so of course it's taking the longest. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just, just finish that siege, we'll peace out. Come on. We're at 72%. Come on. Come on. 72%. Come on. Poland moved their capital to Warsaw. Good for you. Come on. Oh my god, it failed again. Stop fucking failing, for fuck's sake. Please succeed. Please. Oh my god, stop failing! <sighs> statesman or better relations? Do I want statesman or better relations? Statesman or better relations? Probably the statesman, because we're going to be annexing Morocco. We'll need that. Come on, 76%? Ah, oh, just finish that siege. Come on, come on. Failed again. How many times can you fucking fail? Stop fucking failing. He's just constantly rolling low numbers on that dice. He's like, well, I know there's like a hundred, and then there's ninety-nine, and uh, ninety-eight, uh, ninety-seven, I think, and then ninety-six, and uh, ninety-five. Whoa, Castile went noble republic. But yeah, this guy just keeps rolling like super low numbers on the dice. It's like, he doesn't understand, really, the last province to fall. The very last province to fall is going to be the one that I declared for. You're kidding me. Finally. Fucking finally. Okay, I have to take that. Everything else is just going to be feed. Feed Norway so we can annex Norway. Okay, so Norway's only three provinces. We can do that and annex them. Get rid of Norway. 
Then we'll go for Denmark. Oh, darn it. 99. Uh, do I really want... Th I mean, I guess. That's kind of off the beaten path for Denmark. But it's not the end of the world. Let's see. Akershus, Narva, Edsiva, Jontland, Finland, Holland. I mean, I guess. It's just uh, such weird, 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 weird orientation. If we don't do Finland, can we then do something else? Um, uh, so silly. Okay, take out Narva. Can we do these guys? That makes a little more sense. That's, you know... Whatever. It's fine. Alright, so Denmark's capital is now up here somewhere. Yeah? Yeah? Where? Finnmark? Yeah, Denmark's capital is now Finnmark. Okay, well, Norway has every province that they can possibly own, right? Yep, so we can just go ahead and annex Norway, no problem. And Morocco, same thing. Uh, yep, let's annex Morocco. Have you cored all that? No, are you coring it? Well, he is coring it, so, okay. Annex, annex, annex. We've certainly had Morocco for enough years. Alright, get rid of him ships you can go dock up or something actually why don't you dock up do, 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 down here so I can move that army around quickly if I need to uh, we should fabricate for the Canaries and Cape Verde I mean they're not worth anything but they're really nice provinces to get just for their positioning and their influence we won't release Finland until we've annexed these two. Well, I guess it doesn't matter that much. <laughs> it really doesn't matter that much. Uh, and we need to get relations up with Norway before we can annex them. So, diplomat, please. Sorry, Lithuania. Nope. Nope. We should take all of our penalties out of Sweden. I don't want them to hate us. Yes, yes, yes. Diplomat, please. Come on, I have relations to improve. There you go. And Sweden, they're at plus 30. Uh, let's remove our embargo. And we'll unrival them, too. Hey, stop it. Oh yeah, we should probably declare on France, like right now, rather than waiting. I mean, their allies are garbage. Oh, but if we do that, we can't start the integration of Norway. Alright, let me toss them a nice gift. We'll hurry this along. Gift. Gift. There you go. 150 ducats. You guys are a cheap date. Uh, come on back. We'll give them access. That'll be enough. Oh, we can't because they're a freaking vassal. Ah, uh, why did I do that? I'm so dumb. I just missed an end of the month tick. Shit. So stupid. Uh, yeah, I don't need the prestige. 10 prestige, so just give me the fucking relations, please. Okay, so revoke the embargo. There you go. And we can take out the rivalry, right? Put France back in there, because we're going to be declaring on him in two months.
Okay, claim on Caceres, that's fine. Uh, let's get another claim on... I don't know. Castilla Vieja, sure. Alright, Norway, end of the month is here. Your time as an independent state is over. Excellent. So we're annexing Norway and Morocco. And now it's time to declare on France. Base tax in Damascus? Don't mind if I do. It's already Catholic, so why not? Same thrones with the same problems, but... Nah, they both already have heirs. They're just weak claims. Not interested. Wrong dynasty. And... Yeah. So for Imperial Ban, if we just declare for that, we can do straight up conquest for four provinces, which we probably should do. Uh, we also have regular conquest on specific provinces that we targeted in the south. Um, but I guess it doesn't matter which one we do. Let's see. War goal is to take Bairn. War goal is to take Hino. It doesn't really matter which one we do. What's the difference? Uh, this one has aggressive expansion 100% and 75% cost, meaning at the peace deal. Uh, this one is less aggressive expansion. Let's go for this aggressive expansion. Well, do I really care about aggressive expansion? Sort of. Ah, whatever. Let's just declare for Lyonnais. Oh, Britain wants to join now. Okay. Let's go. I guess he was just busy with Portugal. He didn't want to deal with wars on two fronts, right? God, that's a lot of pop-ups. Like, all your vassals suddenly decide to go to war. And Britain is in it. Yep, Britain's in it. Go, Britain. Now, France has a considerable army, but that doesn't mean they're all going to be here. Uh, he, in fact, they're probably not. They're probably somewhere else. Uh, hmm. Should get another claim on the Autoderps. Autoderps. We got Macedonia. Let's go for... Yeah, Corfu. God, there's so many fucking provinces over here. Alright, he's got 30k here. And he's completely trapped. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the... Just like hornets just swarming him. Oh my goodness. Poor guys. Uh, we do have a free Diplo. Who wants a hug? You know what? We should probably give Sweden a nice big hug. Well... If we do, we won't be able to declare war for a while. Because it has to be below plus 100. Poland I want to do, but Poland I think we should do by declaring on Lithuania, because that way we won't get Russia in the war. How long are our claims for here? Six more years. Alright, so we'll finish up France, then we'll declare on Poland while we're coring France, French territories. And yeah, he's got shit just sitting here in Gascony. He's not using those units for some reason. Let's go ahead and get our ticking war score. Do you have siege? Yeah, he's got siege one. Let's go get our ticking war score started. Revolt in Newland. Uh, do I really care? Oh, I forgot to release Finland, but it doesn't matter. Bohemia's up there. He's like, I'm on the job. I've got it. Oh, man, this is... This is what the HRE is all about. It's not just defending the HRE. It's using the HRE as a blunt tool. Not a precision instrument, just a blunt tool. You're just going to work on the world. Unleashing just ridiculous amounts of units on everyone. And be like, well, we can't really give them precise instructions, but we can give them a general idea of go kill everything over there. And they're good at it, you know? They're really, really good at it. 
We do have a free diplomat. Let's get Galicia out of this stupid coalition. I mean, not that it matters that much, but might as well try. Poor France. Poor France. Only missing one province here. Wow, they're actually letting him. Oh, never no, I was gonna say they're letting him stay in uh, Roerge, but no, they're not. They're, they had units ready for Roerge. Russia keeps sabotaging reputation like the douche that they are. So we're just going to make Brittany get rid of his alliance with Russia, I mean with France. I don't really want to take any land from Brittany. Uh, just make him a little weaker if possible. Maybe take his money. Okay, got claim on Castilla la Vieja, very good. Yeah, they should leave the coalition. It's hard to tell though, you know? Oh, Portugal. Portugal has a claimable throne? I mean, not that I can really royally marry him or anything, but yeah, he has no heir. Look at that. Wow. 77% chance. Come on. You trolling me, game. You trolling me. And it's always the, the province that I declare war for, isn't it? There we go. All right, now we have ticking war score in our favor. I'm just going to roll on home. Uh, we have Imperial Ban on a whole bunch of crap in the north. Only four provinces, but also have claims on some stuff in the south. And I know the ones that we, claims f that we claimed first were Lyonne and Toulouse because they had the highest base tax. Uh, what is this? Liberté, Egalité, Fraternité, giving Revolt Risk plus 8... Missionary Strength, minus 3. Prestige, plus 0.1. Tech, minus 20%. Wow, 20% cheaper tech. Pisses off the Pope, though. And it costs us 4,000 ducats. Really? Does anyone know, is this worth doing? I mean, it doesn't look that, that amazing. We already have really cheap tech. I'm not sure there's any point in doing that. But is this like a... Is this a chain of events? If I do this, does it lead to cool stuff down the road? Or is this just a one-time event? Because if it is, I'll just lose 10 prestige. Who cares? Anyone know? What's the point of doing it, though? Like, does it lead to any other events or nothing? I mean, it doesn't do anything beneficial right now because we're already the tech leader in the, in the whole world. It's only 20 years of the, of the bonus, so it's not that amazing. I like how you, everyone is saying you think it gives events. I... Does anyone know? <laughs> I'm going to look it up just for shits and giggles. Uh, I'm going to look it up. Because none of you are actually explaining things. I'm surprised. There's a lot of people here. No one's explaining it. Uh, Liberté. Is that in here anywhere? Nope. It's not even in the wiki. Let's say enlightenment. 
The Enlightenment. There we go. No, that's, a, that's an actual technology called the Enlightenment. That's not what I want. Ah, someone found the link for it. Yeah, searching for it doesn't work because it's actually it's actually written with these accent marks in it. All right, so what is it? Have innovative ideas between 1650 and 1800. Yeah, Western tech. Uh, we don't have enlightenment movement. Have 10 admin points. Uh huh. Have a decent ruler. Have one year's worth of income. Okay have 40 prestige. We definitely have some prestige. Immediate effects sets country flag enlightenment movement. Okay. We get revolt risk. Missionaries don't do crap. And that's it. It doesn't lead to anything else. So it's not a chain of events. Well, that's garbage. Huh? So it doesn't lead to a chain. Aw. Yeah, then it's definitely not worth it. Nope. Screw your enlightenment. Twenty years of cheaper tech. What's the point? We already are the tech leader of the whole world. We got two diplos. Two diplos. Uh Galicia. Here have a gift. A few cheap points, why not? New flag? What new flag? What are you talking about? Morale? Cheaper army? Yeah, Morale is probably useful. If I ever need it. Come on, man. Finish. 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 I have claims on these three fini problems, provinces. Finish them. I probably can't take them all, but finish them anyway. I want to see my options. Okay, more claims on Castile. Because we need we need more claims, obviously. Uh, let's go for the Canaries. Why not? Canaries. Bingo. Uh, yeah, sure. More base tax? Sure. They're already Catholic, so why not? Alright, come on, two more to finish. There we go, one more to go. Come on, Baron. Ooh, nice. Thousand ducats. Alright, just fall so I can take a look at peace. Nope, you failed. You failed! 99%, you had to freaking fail. Of course you had to freaking fail. Okay, Netherlands, do you have any claims down here? Or cores or anything? Nope. I think when the Netherlands spawned, they had claims over everything down here. Wallonia and all that stuff, but Flanders, no. Not anymore. 
There we go. Okay. Well, it says 99, but it's more like 100. Right? Okay, so first things first. You're going to give land to my vassal. There you go. Uh, we could give some land to England, I guess. You want some land, England? Here you go. Well, not that one, maybe. That one? There you go. You can have those two. Okay, and then I'll take some stuff for myself. Like those two. And these. 84 overextension. 92. 100. Ooh. That's actually rather convenient. 100. Those are all my claims. Nice. All right, well. Oh, that's right. I wanted to piece out Brittany separately. But we don't have any war score on Brittany. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, get rid of your alliance with France. He won't. Really? Fine, fuck it. I'll just do it through France. It doesn't matter. Here, get rid of your alliance with Brittany. Give me all of that stuff. And give me money. I like money. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, now we're going to release Senor Finland. Finland. And that puts us at 100 overextension. Yep. Alright, core everything. Luxembourg Embassy, local nobility. Oh, he took, uh, what's it called, didn't he? He took aristocratic. Yeah, he did. All right, so we need to save up some points then. Oh, France, you tricky little bastard. Oh, well, look at that. We have a whole bunch of new land. Our vassal got bigger, and that's amazing. I love it. Love it. Oh, and people are ready to do this. I just don't... I like having these vassals. They're amazing. They raffle stomp everything. Uh oh. Is that a long steam cloud save? No. But it is 37, 38 minutes already. So thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. That was our. Is that our second war with France? I can't even remember how many it's been, but that's our first one in recent times, and the first time we've unleashed the dogs of the HRE on France. Next up will probably be Poland, because our claims there are going to run out soon. Yeah, only four years on those claims, but we will refresh them by five years by declaring war. So we'll go ahead and we'll go declare on him. Uh, we're only going to take, I think, three provinces? Yeah, probably just three provinces. Uh, we'll kind of confine him to the normal Polish territories of today. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.